present memoria is appreciating the present while also reflecting on the past. So for this collection of work, I've been taking things from my childhood memories while also putting it into my work that I'm making currently. Right under two years. I always have endless ideas, so just seeing a, an um, alternative view on the stuff I make, I just can come pouring out even after I'm finished a photo shoot, so I can maybe paint it, see it in a different view. Um, movies, uh, the the life I lived. Um, the culture. Suspiria, the 2018 remake, uh, No Country for Old Men, The Exorcist, um, The Shining, I'm a big horror fan, uh, Hereditary. So movies are a big part of my work. Um, when I was young, all I did was watch movies. So, making my photos colorful um, really brings out the happiness that I inspire to have and I want people to be happy. So, uh, having dark elements, as in maybe the emotion in the subjects, um, face or body posture, me um, stand out as well because I can also be moody in some ways. Um, dark humor is a aspect of mine. Um, so dark and colorful kind of collide in my work. Um, <laughs> blood orange. Um, Fleetwood Mac. Uh, Frank Ocean. Uh, Florence and the Machine. The uh, Radiohead. Wait, right in the weekend, <laughs> my mind went blank. Like, oh, uh, I listen to everybody. Um, the photos came first. Uh, I decided to paint the photo after I took the, um, the photo. Um, I tried to look for something that's really emotional in a way, because um, I feel like I'm an emotional person, so I want to paint something that's gonna stand out, um, really focus on me. Um, I know, in the future, like maybe like right now, I am planning to take photos to paint so I can know, because I have some ideas that I do want to paint that's not focusing on old photographs. Um, I took a picture of one of my friends. He had a red cowboy hat and I always needed something to paint, so that's when I really started to paint my pictures. Um, it was a pretty basic photo. It was a picture of him from behind with the red cowboy hat. And I decided I wanted to do more things with the red cowboy hat, so I decided to do a series and put that on different subjects in my photos and make little characters. Yeah, I have some things in my notes. Um, it'll be, um, it has some horror elements, of course, because I love horror. Uh, 
I don't want to give too, too many details away. <laughs> I don't want anybody to spend my idea. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully that will come into fruition soon. Um, what you got uh, really focused on when I was staying with my great grandparents um, in Kenner, there was a, a, um, a mean dog next door. He chased everybody in the neighborhood. So, me and all the kids in the neighborhood, we were scared of that dog. Um, my great grandpa, he stayed sitting at the at the kitchen table. Um, my great grandma, she had a kumquat tree in the backyard. She had these old um, vintage china, some plate, old plates with some. I don't. Know, I forgot the name of the um, of the designs that's on the room. And there was also a window in the living room. I always used to sit by and stare out the window. Um, you're going to see the painting in a second. But uh, there was power lines all up and down the street. There was a song by Janelle Monae called Type Rope. I always imagine a guy walking on a power line. Because power line is similar to a type rope. And, um, the painting is kind of a self-portrait in a way. And there's an eye missing from the person in the picture because I wanted to incorporate some horror elements to it. And um, there's a lemon as well in there. I guess we'll talk about that later. Okay, so the lemon is also from my childhood. Um, my cousins and I, we were walking around the neighborhood. This is when I was staying in La Plaza, um during the summer with my cousins, um, but my other great grandma. We will walk around the neighborhood and the neighbors had lemon trees, so we will take lemons from their lemon tree and make lemonade for our great grandma. So that was something memorable. And, um, she passed away, so that's something to remember her. One of my cousins, they passed away from gun violence, so that's another thing to remember him by. And uh, so I see lemons as life, um, fruit in general. Teenage summer. Um, teenage summer was, um, that was, that was a fun, creative day. Um, I, I went in with one idea, just, um, me and my friends just having fun. We had like a little kiddie pool. And um, one of my friends, their um, grandpa had an old van in the yard. So we um, utilized that. Uh, it was really hot. Um, so I wanted to, the photo shoot just to point out teenagers in a summer heat, finding things to do, um, just bonding with each other. That's pretty much it. Crown, crown um, represents black hair. Uh, my mom is a hairstylist. Uh, pretty much in my childhood, I was in the hair salon with her while she was doing hair, just um, probably in the hair salon for hours, looking through Ebony and Jet magazines. Um, women coming and going out the door with these tall ponytails, yeah. Um, seeing my work on gallery walls is always something special. After, because I, I paint, I do most of, of my paintings in my den at home. Uh, so finally seeing um, this whole body of work come together for everybody to see um, is, is something special. Yeah. June 1st till July 15th, 2023.